and welcome back to How To AMP. I got a quick question for you today. Once a user lands on your site, what keeps them there? If I had to guess, I would say it's your content. Here's another question. Once a user consumes a full page of content, how do you introduce them to more? Well, in my Glitch project today, once my reader scrolls through my first article, I provide them with links to additional articles at the bottom. Readers are able to click one and view that next page. This isn't bad, but what if I could just give my users more content without making them choose, click, and wait? Well, y'all, this is AMP, and we got a component just for that. Today, I'm going to show you how to implement infinite scrolling through pages. Our key component today is AMP Next Page which dynamically loads more pages for the user as they scroll. So I'll import the script into the head of my document. After that, I'll place an inline configuration of AMP Next Page into my page. Since it should be the very last element, I'll place it directly above the closing body tag. I'll then migrate my links into the correct JSON key value pairs. All three, title, page URL, and image source are required. Quick tip. You can inline the JSON configuration or point to its location with the remote URL, or both. Linking a remote URL allows you to dynamically add more articles to the list as your user scrolls. I'll link to that information in the video description if you want to learn more. Now that I've defined my next articles in AMP Next page, I'll remove those hard links. And now when I scroll down, wow, the next article just loads. And if I open it up in the standalone preview, you can even see that the URL updates. But we're getting some weird UI with the header. And each article has its own footer. That's probably going to confuse my readers. Well, good news. AMP has a solution. Like many things in AMP, we can use attributes to change how things behave. Using AMP Next Page exposes Next Page Hide. The next page hide attribute hides duplicate elements. So I'm going to apply that to the headers and footers. Now if I scroll, well, that resolved the header issue, but my footer still got some problems. To resolve it, I'll place the footer within the AMP next page component and make sure that I am using the footer attribute. Incredible. The last cleanup I'm going to do is remove the margin from the loaded content since I don't need to create space for a header that doesn't exist. AMP Next Page applies some specialized CSS classes to the pages it loads. One of those is AMP Next Page Visible. I can use this selector to remove the margin by adding the CSS in each of the pages. Perfect. This is turning into a pretty great infinite scrolling experience, but AMP aims to make things easy while still leaving a ton of room for personality. And one of the things AMP Next page allows you to customize is the default thin gray separator. You can do so by adding the separator attribute to any element placed inside AMP Next page. I'm using a div and adding some custom styles. And when you look at that, my separator appears as AMP add purple. Now, this just scratches the surface about the types of experiences you can build with AMP Next page. I encourage all of you to check out the documentation to learn more about other features like Max Pages and the recommendation box. As always, if you've got suggestions for future episodes, drop those in the comments below. Thanks for watching.